Major League Fishing Cups are back and available on My Outdoor TV. Here we go. Start your free trial on MOTV.com to enjoy new episodes of Major League Fishing Cups now. Use promo code YT30. Anytime you can just make championship round against these caliber fishermen, that's a great day. Making it to the final day in a cup is a very, very difficult thing to do. To come out here and to get on them quick and stay on them, man, that's just so hard. In Florida, if you're within 20 pounds of anybody, you still have a shot. Anytime you got momentum going, things seem to happen. There he is. Oh my gosh, I'm digging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that! That'll help the calls. <laughs> General Tire's Major League Fishing is the USAA Patriot Cup from Kissimmee, Florida, presented by Berkeley. Well, this is sort of interesting. We're actually in a canal that connects to Toho right now. But that is not the case for very long. We're being lifted into Bella Lago. <laughs> Go well, for a ride. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. This is so bizarre. Leave it to Major League Fishing to come up with something like this. Kind of a once in a lifetime experience, I believe. This is about as good as it gets. This is what you always dream of, going to a place no one's been. This tournament's going to be about who can make the most cast. Weather's right. You're not supposed to have any lightning or any weird things. You know, if I can make 1,500 casts in a day and Littner can only make 1,200, I got a better chance to win. That's just, that's just reality. Welcome to General Tire's Major League Fishing. 27 of the top sticks in bass fishing arrived in Kissimmee, Florida to compete for the title of Patriot Cup champion. Eight anglers survived two intense rounds of competition to make it to today's championship round. Oh! Only one will take home the Patriot Cup trophy. Let's meet the final eight contenders. Qualifying out of sudden death round one, he finished first, Jesse Wiggins. With a second place finish, Michael Neal. He finished third, Ike, Mike Iaconelli. And our final qualifier out of sudden death round one, Mark Rose. Qualifying out of sudden death round two with a first place finish, John Murray. With a second place finish, Big Show Terry Scroggins. He finished third, the milkman, Jared Lintner. And our final qualifier out of sudden death round two, Takahiro Omori. When looking to become a Major League Fishing Cup champion, these anglers need to be ready for anything. John Murray shows us how he prepared for the unknown. In today's general tire, anywhere is possible. Hey guys, John Murray here. I'm at the Patriot Cup here in Orlando, Florida, getting ready to go fish by the General Tire Booth so you know anywhere is possible. I brought three baits that work for me anywhere in the country. Uh, confidence baits that I know will work. The first is a plopper style bait. And this is the bait I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna cover as much water as I can and I can pull fish out of one foot. I can pull them out of 10 foot grass with this bait because it makes a lot of noise and brings the fish to you. The next style bait is a toad style bait. So many times we get into Florida and it's just choked with weeds and you need a weedless lure. A topwater toad is probably the best, most effective way to fish those matted grass piles and cover a lot of water and still find out where those fish are living. And the third technique is the drop shot. This is my all around confidence lure. I don't care if you live in Arizona or New York or Florida, a drop shot will catch a bass at wherever you go. So when you find those bass with a topwater lure, I'm gonna try to clean up catch them with a drop shot, catch everyone in the school, and try to catch fish that no one else is fishing for with a drop shot in Florida. With no practice and no information, the anglers only have 30 minutes to run the entire lake and try to formulate a game plan. With more information on the options they have available, let's go out to Marty Stone with today's lake breakdown. 
This community was laid out with an engineered design plan of a series of small lakes. Melalaga is the biggest of all. And as these anglers idle with their mercury power boats through this 230 acre series of lakes, and that's right, I did say idle. Max speed today for these anglers are 5.5 miles per hour. They're gonna see that this lake is fishable from end to end. The aquatic vegetation choices today will be cattails, arrowheads, water hyacinths, small amount of hydrilla, and water willows. Today, these angles will have more hardcover options than they've seen in any of the previous rounds. And that cover is going to consist of boat docks, laydowns, overhanging trees, culverts, and bridges. There's also a section of this lake that's undeveloped. It's a wildlife refuge, and the shores of that particular refuge are known to hold big bass. The last unique feature on this lake is all the PVC man-made structures that's strategically placed throughout the lake by the Bellalaga Bass Club. This club is the keeper of the lake. It provides the vision, provides the labor, and it provides the passion that keeps this lake in such great shape. Never before have I seen a gated community embrace wildlife management and fish habitat as I have here on Bellalago. This place is loaded with big bass. And when these guys start catching some of these brim and shad fed Bellalaga hammers, they're gonna realize this lake's legit and the battle's gonna be on. 5.5, right? 5.5. Like a herd of turtles. It's hard for me to go 5.5 miles an hour. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I'm just gonna ride through here and see what it looks like. Looks like it's managed like a, like a golf course. I don't see any grass, no grass, no. There's obviously not a lot of grass. They don't like their grass in this pond. So that's different. That's good for what I'm fishing. Once we find where those fish are snapping, we gotta try to duplicate it throughout the whole fishery. Not quite as many docks as I anticipated. It's a little bit different than I expected. Might have to get out a deep crankbait. Maybe nobody else brought a deep crankbait like a 6XD or something because we're in Florida. But um, I almost didn't bring some, but I got, I think, four or five of them in the box. So that might play a, play a big, huge role today. Somebody gonna get lucky. Yeah, I can catch one giant. This is all just looks like a pond right now. It's just bare bottom. I've seen a couple of little brush piles I marked, like probably man-made brush that's been sunk. This brighter return is a, a harder bottom, just a little bit of it right there, and then all this out in here is just soft, mucky bottom, and the fish 90% of the time will relate to the hard bottom stuff. Usually, people don't come all the way to the back like this, so... That's another my uh, strategy. Go somewhere less pressure. Dang, I don't know if I want to start in here now or back by them reeds. I know the other guys are on the bridges. I had it to myself. Yeah. Who knows? I'm be looking out here in the middle for it's all over with. I think that's where it's going to go down at. You know, I mean, in these cup events, Major League Fishing never goes anywhere without knowing what the lake is, what the lake holds. And I'm sure there's something special about this place. So I I'm thinking the weights are going to be high today. I think it's the score tracker is going to be lighting up constantly. Um, it's going to have to see, I mean, and it's just like anything. Sudden death round is super crucial to get started quickly, but the championship round is just as crucial. I mean, if you get too far behind, your chances of winning just bottom out. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Just go fishing, man. You'll find expert bass fishing know-how from Mercury MLF Pro Team Anglers at MajorLakeFishing.com backslash Mercury Pro Tactics. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by General Tire. Anywhere is possible. Lucas Oil. Keep that engine alive. B&W Trailer Hitches, Towing Adventure. Yeti, built for the wild. Sonic, this is how we Sonic. And by Kubota, together we do more. Hey Mark, just remember you start off this morning in a two minute penalty. Okay. I remembered, I just hoping you didn't. Listen to me, I know you young men, young kids watching, aspiring MLF pros, MLF Cup event, always, always start at a bridge 
Rip Rap, or a Marina. Always. We're moments away from the championship round of the USAA Insurance Patriot Cup, presented by Berkeley from Kissimmee, Florida. Eight professional anglers have survived sudden death and are poised for the final battle to claim the Patriot Cup trophy on Lake Bella Lago. Today's championship round will consist of three periods. A scorable bass must weigh at least one pound. The angler with the most weight at the end of the day will be crowned the Patriot Cup champion. Major League Fishing's championship round begins now. Two, one, lines in. This is the beginning of the 2021 Patriot Cup championship round. Well, let's do it. See what this lake's about. I'm going to find out what they have in this pond. I have a feeling we're going to need to catch them consistent all day. Game plan is just put, put your trouble down and go. I mean, uh, have to see what's going on. Catch the first couple of fish and see, uh, get a clue of what's happening. That's my weight. One pound, eight ounces. I'll take it. First one, championship round. Jared Lintner is the first angler on the board. He caught a one pound, eight ounce bass. Oh, Jared, he gonna catch him. Not a big one, though. Hmm, interesting. One eight. Average Florida fish, huh? Hopefully that's not the way to need to catch them on top water or something, a moving bait. There's bass in here. Jesse Wiggins has caught a fish. He's moved into first place with one pound, 10 ounces. And to eat a bite to steer me in the right direction. I need to a jig. Man, that should have been at least an eight pounder right there. That many shad, oh, I don't know what it is, bait, suspense. I was surprised I don't get bit on those dogs. I should get bit right, right there. Got to get to a dock. Oh, nice one. There's no bite. Two pounds, four ounces. Thank you. One pound, six ounces. No bite. Jared Lettner's caught his second fish. Now it's two pounds and 14 ounces. Takahiro's caught his first fish in second place, two pounds and four ounces. Yep. Three anglers on the score track. No bite. I mean, I didn't even know that was a fish. It's just, I see my line cutting out. Well, we know where Takahiro is. Talk's not going to make it real complicated. He's Either throwing a vibrating jig or cranking something or flipping. You just saw the jail right on my fish this side, too. And I could is gone. There's just no grass off the bank, so it's. You almost believe it's got to be bank related. Well, he's big enough to be the first scoreable for me. One pound, 12 ounces. He's not big, but he'll get on the board. Michael Neal's now on score tracker, one pound, 12 ounces. Come on, fish, tell me something. When you start somewhere and don't catch one right out of the gate, you, you just hope that they're not lighting it up everywhere. And they're not, so we sh we're still all right. Started off just dragging a Carolina rig on this little shallow bar right here by the dam, but didn't get any bites doing that. A lot of bait and stuff out here flipping in the middle. Seen a few fish bust. Picked up a jerk bait and caught one, but I don't know how much there's gonna be to it. This is gonna be a process today of elimination on the bank or offshore. Which way do you go? I gotta put on a white buzz bait real quick.
Ah. Oh, that's a problem. Jared W. A fish landing violation, two minute penalty. Michael score tracker shows Jared Lintner's in a two minute penalty. He's figured him a little something out. One pound, zero ounces. I'll take it. At least it's scorable. At least it's scorable. Lintner's caught his third fish now, Tuck, here. He's at three pounds and 14 ounces. Damn. His last fish weighed one pound, zero ounce. Gee, I see it went that way. I need to get him on top water, man. Somewhere it may not be the deal because there's nothing out. I just haven't had a top water bite all week. I have zero confidence on top water. What'd you say, line's in? No. Where are we at? Just sit there and be nice. No, I'm being nice. One pound, four ounces. All right, we're on the board. Terry Scroggin caught a one pound, four ounce fish, putting him in fifth place. So it's only little fish. At least they're not going in five pound increments, so that's a good thing. You know how I knew that's a fish right there? Got a sign that says biting bass up there. <laughs> Got a mark. That's a big one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not quite four, but he's a big one. <laughs> my power pulled down on my... Three pounds, six ounces. I can only cut a three pounds, six ounce fish. I think I'm in a good area. That's what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First bite of the day. No biting fishing's random. No bites random. You see what he came off of? Reeds. Problem is, there's not a lot of reeds in this lake, but it was a bite. Welcome back to General Tire's Major Lake Fishing. Three pounds, six ounces. Berkeley Havoc Pit Boss. 17 power, 20 pound fluorocarbon. Classic Florida bait right there. Half ounce weight, reaction bite. Hit it on the fall. It's the championship round and the bass are chomping. We're 30 minutes into period one and six of today's competitors have already made their mark on the score tracker. These anglers are enjoying neutral weather conditions on Lake Bella Lago. But fishing in close proximity to each other could prove challenging. For more on that, here's Marty Stone for today's Wiley X Eyewear, more than meets the eye. In today's championship round, for the first time all week, weather's not gonna be a major factor. But what we are gonna see is a championship round that I feel like is gonna have three phases to it. The first phase, these anglers are gonna go down in a bank and these fish haven't been pressured, and they're gonna hammer them. They're gonna work on them pretty good. Then the second phase is these anglers and fish both are gonna feel the pressure. The anglers are gonna feel the pressure knowing that another competitor has been down that stretch of bank. The fish are gonna feel the pressure being caught. They're gonna to have to make some adjustments. It's gonna be unique to see which angler is gonna figure out how to generate bites behind a fellow competitor. And then to me, the third and final stage of this thing is which angler will venture offshore later in the round to some of these PVC structures and possibly find that hidden school of fish this tournament is gonna to start with a lot of damage done on the bank, but it could also end with the wind being offshore. How's there not one on that pipe? Only concrete deal in this place and there's not a fish on it? I don't guess there's anything on these muscle beds. Couldn't be if I get nothing back there in the shed. The number one way to generate bites is a drop shot, so that's why I picked it up and I'm just covering water. This is what you want. You want to be able to duplicate. We had that bite on reeds. Got more reeds. Well, it's much the worm. It just found me. God dang it. That's another heresy one. Heresy fish number two. Two pounds, zero ounces. 
how hairy says this guy is. All right, I'm gonna just keep going. Takahiro Mori's caught another fish. He's moved into first place. He's now at four pounds, four ounces. I get on with something. I know those got untouched, so they're not gonna screw that. I mean, they're gonna eat it if they want it, if they see my bait. This a dock got a fish feeder on it, you'd think. There'd be one there. It's definitely not as easy as everybody thought. Dang, I thought it was gonna be pretty easy to get a bite on the worm way. I caught that one immediately. <laughs> one pound, zero ounces. Take it. One pound of them to death. Jared Lintner's caught another fish. He's moved back into first place. Looks like it's gonna be a race of bites. He catches twice more fish than I catch. <sighs> That's how they... That's called choking it right there. Two pounds, 14 ounces. 214. Jared Lentner's got his fifth fish, weighed two pounds, 14 ounces. He now has seven pounds, 12 ounces in first place. Four pounds, six ounces behind him. I just feel like it's the wrong area of the lake. And me and John Murray are bringing up the rear. Not my day. John Murray and Mark Rose do not have a scorpion bass. Somehow those guys are gonna end up catching them, I promise you. That fish wasn't even on that pipe. That fish bit way out. These fish are strange, man. They're not they're not on anything. They're just on the on mud. Really thinking they're not on the bank. Maybe wrong. Yeah, Florida's a little different than everywhere else. Actually, like Okeechobee will start spawning in the September. And we're probably I don't know, 60, 70 miles, 80 miles north of Okeechobee, but I just saw a bed bite there. That's kind of kind of interesting. There's another one right there. I mean, Scroggins is a through and through Florida guy, and he's going down the bank, and he's not caught much, so. There's one. I think he'll score. One pound, one ounce. All right. A little bit at a time. One pound, one ounce. Jesse Wiggins has caught another fish. He's moved into fifth. He's now at two pounds, 11 ounces. That moved you down to sixth place. I'm still so tight right now. Everybody can, everybody still got an equal shot. We're going to make a move. We got a little over an hour left. We're going to make a move to the area where we launched this morning just to get out of this area. When things aren't working, you got to go. Just need a fish to get us started. Just something. Good Lord, there's three of us in one cove. It ain't that hot in here, boys, I promise you. One pound, zero ounces. All right. One oh for the starter. Mark Rose has caught a fish. It was one pound, zero ounces. So does that mean somebody's still not caught one? Murray? John Murray has not made it on score tracker yet. Well, I'm the only dude. Dang it. You're it. All right, Mark, that last fish put you in seventh. You're seven right. pounds, 12 ounces from the lead. It's on now. Oh my. I thought it was going to be a pig. Two pounds, eight ounces. Two eight. My, how things can change. 
Score tracker update. Mark Rose just caught his second fish. Now he's up to three pounds, eight ounces, moving him in fourth place. That should have been me. I'm on, fish. Give me a break. He's probably back down there on my spot. I remember a long time ago in a tournament. I'm a young buck, learning. I saw Mark Davis out in the middle of the lake, nothing around. I mean, nothing. He's like, me and him are neck and neck. I'm running way up the river catching him. He's in the middle of nowhere. I said, Mark, what's over there? What, what are you fishing? I don't understand. And it's a lesson that I've learned, words of wisdom that I've learned, kept all my fishing career. He said, ain't nothing there but bass. Actually, he said, ain't nothing there but bass, boy. So sometimes you don't really need anything as long as there's a bass there. Big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, they fight very good, this guy. Hooks to good. Four pounds and 10 ounces. I take this. Oh my gosh. Let them go back. Awesome. Takahiro Mori's caught another fish. He's moved up to first place. His last fish was four pounds, 10 ounces. Hmm. Yeah, he's on the right stuff as us. I can't get bit. <laughs> now I know what to do. I just take whatever they gave to me. Keep it, keep it very simple way. My Outdoor TV is your home for every exciting moment of the 2022 MLF season. Boom! Every episode, including live <laughs> events. Yes, sir! Try it free at MyOutdoorTV.com. Use promo code YT30. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the USAA Insurance Patriot Cup, presented by Berkeley from Kissimmee, Florida. We're on the shores of beautiful Bell Lago Lake, and I'm here with the president and CEO, Craig Carmichael of Evergreens Lifestyles and Management. You guys have got a very special relationship with the Bell Lago Bass Club. It seems like they're the eyes and ears of this lake. That is so true. Yeah, the, the club, they get all the information, they pass it on to us, and if there's anything way we can help them out of stocking the lakes, you know, put in bait fish, you know, habitat, structures over the years these guys have worked hard in building the infrastructure within the lakes to really keep that bass habitat strong what was it like when you heard there was an opportunity that we could have a major league fishing event right here on this very property amazing because over the years we've been wanting something because this is a special lake and when the opportunity came about made a couple phone calls and the word i got back was yes home run let's do it you guys have designated some areas you have an emphasis on wildlife as well as fisheries. Absolutely. Uh, Taylor Morrison, the builder that is here on site, we have a couple eagle preserves, not just a home on top of a home. There's a lot of eagle preserves that they are able to look out their back porch and watch the eagles fly around, and it's protected. It's a special relationship, and Taylor Morrison, the developer, is has given us basically a green light to really work with these guys and make this fishery one of the best in Central Florida. Bellalaga Lakes, without a doubt, one of the finest gated communities I've ever seen with an emphasis on fisheries and wildlife. You better hurry if you want to get on the shores of this fantastic community. Four pounds and 10 ounces. Check this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Some good ones in here. Talk had been quiet for a while and take whatever they gave to me. Attitude is not bad. The big bass have come out to play here on Lake Bella Lago. With that four pound, 10 ounce Berkeley big bass of the day, Takahiro has sprung into a two ounce lead over Jared Lentner. They each have a sizable lead over the rest of the field. 
especially over John Murray, who has yet to weigh in a scorable bass. However, if the big bass continue to bite, fortunes can change in an instant. Here's one. Good one, too. One pound, three ounces. There he is. Yeah, now they're short. I like this all of a sudden what I'm doing. <laughs> I know I only caught one little keeper, but all of a sudden I just started to like what I'm doing. This dock looks so good with the wind. You gotta think the big one suspended on the piling. One pound, 12 ounces. One 12. Strike King shaky here. Mark Rose caught another fish. He now has five pounds, four ounces. Moves in into third place. Knocking you down in two fours. Well, there's fish in this area of the lake. We'll just slow down with it, I guess. Nick Lintner's about to take the lead again. Big one. Stay hooked, stay hooked. Stay hooked. <laughs> There he goes. That's a nice one. I thought it was a lot bigger than that, but I'll take it. Heck yeah. Three pounds, 14 ounces. 314. There it is. That's a nice fish. Nice fish. Good score tracker update. Jared Littner, 12 pounds, 10 ounces. Takahiro Mori, 8 pounds, 14 ounces. I'm fishing between the two leaders, and I can't get a bite. Come on. Seems like some better ones are starting to buy it a little bit. The boys are starting to catch some good ones. Maybe a second period to let us lift out and go to tow. No, oh, I missed. Got a tough time though. Three pounds. Three ounces. Three pounder. Gives me a little confidence in sticking on this wacky worm. I caught four or five right here in the last 30 minutes. They've all been smaller, but that one tells me I'm doing the right thing, maybe. Michael Neal just caught a three pound, three ounce fish, moving him into third place with seven pounds, nine ounces. Getting bigger. That's encouraging. They're starting to bite. And I ain't got nothing. Something going on right there in that corner because Michael caught a decent one. I caught that nice one. Most of the time, you catch one on a spinning rod. I mean, if you get him away from the cover, it's it's a done deal. So, I mean, it's, I got light line, single hook, and they're just, play them out. They're not going to go anywhere. Can't believe ain't nothing around all this rock. Can't believe there hadn't been one on one of these little pad clumps. Mm. Stay on there. Stay on there. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's how you want to eat it. Look at that bait. Look at that bait. I mean, it's gone. Three pounds, four ounces. Three, four. That's how you want them to eat it. I figure something out. Maybe. You know what I'm gonna do? Because I learned my lesson. I'm gonna retie. Jared Lentner's caught another fish. Great. He has 15 pounds, 14. Ounces. Great. Awesome. I don't like to hear that. That ain't good. That ain't good for our team. Good for his team. I mean, dude, he freaking clobbered it. So disappointment not get one bite from these dogs. You just never know where you can get a bite. Fronts of docks, sides of docks. Three minutes. 
Mustache man. Must be the mustache. Hey, this fun hammer. Show me how to catch one. One on reeds, one on grass point, one on dock, one out suspend it. <laughs> oh, God. There's a big one. I can get him away from this dock. One pound, 14 ounces. Take it. I'm ready to get back, regroup, put some rods up, change some stuff up, come back out swinging. No clue. Clueless. Just got to start the next period in a different area, that's all. Start over. Three, two, one. Lines out. That's the end of period one. Well, that one didn't go too well. Actually, fishing between first and second can't catch a bass. That's just horrible. It sucked. Bad period. Um, in Major League Fishing, you got to figure it out quick. We figured nothing out. We had four bites on four things. Ended up with two keepers. We got to find some offshore fish to win this thing. I can't catch enough on the bank. There's no rhyme or reason. I wish I knew, like, I'm going to get bit if I find this, but you just got to fish, and that's that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to keep my baits wet, keep my head down, and fish. I was expecting a little bit better <laughs> than this. Oh, well, but uh, I don't get too behind, so it's OK. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by Berkeley. Your fish, our science. Wiley X Eyewear, go confidently. Mercury Marine, go boldly. Favorite fishing, the future of fishing. And by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right there at the end of the first period, I had a couple really good bites. And the way they were eating the bait, I was like, man, you know, I, I got the right bait. But looking at the guys that were behind me, I knew they were going to figure it out. I was already nine pounds behind after the first period. But uh, you know, it's still, still doable. Every bite I've had so far, they've all been very random. One on reeds, one on a crankbait, one off a dock. You know, when it's random like that, it's really, really hard to put your finger on what you need to be doing. I pitched a drop shot underneath the dock, and I actually missed one. And between the next two docks, I caught one going down the bank. So now I'm confused. This is just random as can be. You get a bite on the dock, you get a bite on the bank. Where are they going to be? I feel like right then I should stay dock fishing for the rest of the day and milk it out. And I'm probably not going to win, but I could probably finish second, third, or fourth. But then my real competitive fire came out in me and said, I can't do that. My hopes and sort of dreams of this being a really amazing hidden gem fishery, all that's not going to materialize. This is going to be a struggle. While our pros make their adjustments for period two, let's check out the score tracker. Jared Lintner is our must add point position leader heading into period two. Lintner ended period one firing on all cylinders, adding nine pounds of bass to his total in the final 35 minutes. Today, only one angler will be crowned Patriot Cup champion. Two periods remain for our pros to take their shot for the throne. Well, here we are, fixing to start the second period, and I uh, don't really have a clue what I'm going to do. I mean, this, everybody's done did a couple laps around this place. I don't have it figured out by any means. I'm just going, you know. Might spend a little bit of time out off the bank, but most of it's going to be just going down it with moving baits and, and still mixing in the wacky worm. I mean, these fish have got a bite. This wind's blowing. The conditions are pretty good. The plan is I'm gonna throw that rattle bait around a little bit more, see what happens. Three, I mean, I got I to catch something. One, go. Wide open. Well, you've now reached top speed of 5.5 miles an hour. <laughs> I went 5.2. Oh. Can't say I've ever fished a tournament and not been able to run. It's uh, different. Yep, I'm just going to go right over here and start fishing. Got to catch him somehow. It's 
slight slap of the tail, no penalty. Three pounds, four ounces. Three, four. Nice one. Rose just caught a three pound, four ounce bass. Moved him into third, he now has eight pounds, eight ounces. Well, that was quick. Well, he obviously didn't go very far. Some rock right here, and I liked it when I felt on that shaky head when I threw in there. I liked the feel of it. So I just wanted to come back and crank it because it's good rock. It's kind of places some good ones ought to be set up on. I'm gonna be mad at myself if I find out he caught them where I started. Got it. Just like so. That's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. There we go. Two pounds, three ounces. Thank you. <laughs> I knew it. Two pounds, nine ounces. Better, finally. Jesse Wiggins has just caught a fish. Weighed two pounds, nine ounces, gives him six pounds and six Yeah, pounds. he's behind us, too. <laughs> I got to get rocky. A couple of three pounder. Another good one. There we go. I threw it on warm under there and it goes thunk. Two pounds, seven ounces. Jesse just caught another fish. Weighed two seven. Ridiculous. I said this second period they were gonna bite better. There's another one. That's a good fish. I need him. Stop it. Oh, no, I got that one. Two pounds, 15 ounces. Almost a three pounder. Good one. Two bites pretty quick on a lipless bait. That's probably what I need to do. Cover a lot more water with this than you can at Wacky Worm. I waste a lot of time in the bot docks. You know, they're not on the dock, they're just on the bank. They're just right on the very edge of this grass, whatever grass is around. Come on, buddies. There's another one. He's not near as big, but. One pound, three ounces. Oh, and three ounces. Yeah, he's got a good one. Got to get some bites. Scorable bites. Don't do that. One pound, 12 ounces. Decent little fish. Be nice if they bite like this for about an hour right here. There's something I'm missing. I don't know what. Fish through there earlier and didn't get a bite, but it's just a patch of, there's a patch of eelgrass right there where they are. It's the only patch I've seen anywhere. That's not a bass. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. He's barely hooked. Ah. Ah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Hook pulled out of his mouth. Two pounds, 12 ounces. Two twelve. Pattern's still working. I don't know if he, if he just tried to swipe at it or what. Jared Lintner's caught another fish. He's now at 20 pounds, eight ounces. Afraid I might got us started a little too late. 
Damn, I'm in the wrong place if not catch him. All those nice pads, and he sucker wants to be on a do nothing bank. Come here. Honestly, I had to change things. Three pounds, 14 ounces. There we go. Pick me up right here. Bigger ones are starting to bite. We'll make up some ground quick with those. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. Come here. Honestly, I had to change things. Three, four. Nice one. Three pounds, 14 ounces. There we go. Pick me up right here. We're one hour into period two, and these anglers are making moves. Michael Neal has narrowed the gap and has overtaken second place, but Jared Lintner is still on top with a daunting seven pound lead. None of these pros have yet discovered a dominant pattern. The angler that can discover Lake Bellalago's secrets could race ahead of the competition and claim the Patriot Cup trophy. Back in business. That's sort of the biggest surprise right here. Yeah, can't go this long without catching one. Crazy where these fish are at, man. There's just no rhyme or reason where they're at. I feel like I might have been a little late to the party on the lipless bite. I uh, caught, caught a couple, missed one. Yeah, I got a bait fish here. I mean, God, big one. Fat guy. Like I said I just saw the big splash like chasing the shad. One pound, 15 ounces. Oh, yeah. They fight like four pounder, though. Takahiro Mori's he's caught another fish. He's moved back into second place. He's now at 14 pounds, zero ounces. That moved you to third with 13 pounds, seven ounces. I bet you he's doing the same thing. I need to catch me one of them big ones like they're catching. Good night, what a sickly looking bass. I had that much line out when that fish bit. One pound, three ounces. I think he needs to eat. One pound, five ounces. <laughs> he just about didn't get it. I could see why he bit. He was starving. One pound, 14 ounces. 14. Still biting it. Jared Lintner's caught another fish. He's now at 22 pounds, six ounces. Scroggins and Lintner and Talk all went to the same place. Now I need a nine pounder. Get on there, eat it. Terry, that'll be a fish landing violation, two minute penalty. All right. Two pounds, one ounce. All right. Terry Scroggins, he's moved into third place. He's now at 13 pounds, seven ounces. That moved you to fourth place with 13 pounds, seven ounces. He has one more catch than you do. That's why he moved into third. How big was his last one? Two pounds, one ounce. All right, let's move. I'm telling you, if you don't catch them, these guys pass you so fast. So I basically just picked up a square boat just mainly to cover water. Um, I started off this event throwing a drop shot around. I had a few bites on it and fell behind real quick. You know, just can't cover water quick enough. And so I picked up a square boat and just got out of the bank. I'm seeing fish move off the bank. I'm seeing a few beds here and there. They're so, like super shallow, um, just a lot of males up on the bank. It seems off early, but I, I promise y'all that's what's going on. Oh, come on. I thought I was going to get creamed on the very next cast. I got to figure out right where the juice is, because there's a bunch of them there. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong, other than not catching them. 
Choked up. I had on a half ounce this time. Here's the fish. Two pounds, 14 ounces. Yeah, nice one. Oh, they choked up. I was expecting to catch one here in the back of the pocket. We're in the bro right to it. Jared Takahiro Mori has recently caught a two pound, 14 ounce bass. His total now is 18 pounds. 13 ounces. My turn. This ain't gonna do it. I don't think they're on the bank. God, are you kidding me? <laughs> I have pictures of 10 pounders in my head, and I get this thing. Pounds, zero ounces. All right. Just a little update on the score tracker. Jared Lintner's at 22 pounds, six ounces. Takahiro Mori, 18 pounds, 13 ounces. And Terry Scroggins, 15 pounds, seven ounces. Scroggins is coming. How much time we got? 53 minutes. <coughs> I've just got to quit losing them and I'll be okay. Come on, fish. Get on there. On the tracker, finally. One pound, nine ounces. All right, giant. But it could be a seven pounder next time. It's all good. John Murray is on the board with one pound, nine ounces. Yeah, on the bowl. Senko. Just a flipping, flipping a, flipping a bank slow, like they're spawning or something. I mean, usually when you don't catch them, moving baits real hard, you almost think they're getting ready to spawn or something. I don't know. Just feels weird out here, you know, for me. This stretch we've been down is where Lintner caught on this morning, I'm about to guarantee you. One pound, 12 ounces. Got it. Finally, jeez, that was a dry spell. Came back over here to do nothing banks. Jared Lintner's caught another fish. He's now at 24 pounds, two ounces. Lettner did catch one out of my hole. He ate it. Now I can see that bait on the outside of his mouth. I'm like, ugh. I'm just swinging my grab him. Three pounds, five ounces. All right. That'll help the calls. Pick me up. <clears throat> Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the USAA Insurance Patriot Cup, presented by Berkeley from Kissimmee, Florida. Big Show Terry Scroggins is clawing his way up the score tracker by covering water and throwing a square bill on docks, as you can see here in today's favorite fishing overview of the day. Terry Scroggins and Takahiro continue to inch closer to first place but Jared Lintner is catching just enough to keep them in the rearview mirror. With today's competition now being halfway over, time is on Lintner's side. Much of Lake Bella Lago has been heavily pressured, so these anglers will need to try unique techniques to get these big bass to respond. For more on that, here's Marty Stone for today's Six Hour Success Insight. Jared Lintner's taking control of this championship in the second period and he's done it on the strength of a small crankbait in and around boat docks and shoreline grass. Takahiro Moray is in second place. He's catching fish on a vibrating jig and starting to mix in a crankbait. The common denominator between both of these anglers, they're getting these fish to react. And when you're fishing heavily pressured areas, you've got two choices. One, use a power bait and cover a ton of water. 
This lake has been pummeled by some of the best in the business, and that's not going to work. Two, get real finessey with them. The conditions just are not going to allow that today. There's too much wind, cloud cover, and rain that's in here. So these anglers are doing something. It's a combination of both. They're using a crankbait and a vibrating jig to get these fish to react. When you can get fish to react to a bait, you can then fish behind anglers. And you're going to have to do that if you want to close out this championship round. But there's two anglers I'm keeping an eye on, Michael Neal and Terry Big Show Scroggins. Both of these anglers are starting to dial in the crankbait. And that's going to be the key in these closing moments. What can an angler do to trigger these fish? And what can an angler put in his hand that's going to generate some bites behind his competitors? Right now, this tournament is all about which angler is going to get the most fish to react. There's some fish up on the bank. I think they're actually, the males are wanting to pull up. It's kind of spawn a little bit. But it's so random, you'll catch one on the dock, you'll catch one going down the bank, you'll catch one out in the middle of the pocket. There's no rhyme or reason. I don't, <clears throat> I don't necessarily have a pattern figure out to what they're doing, but I got a bait that they're liking. So I just picked up a, a square bill, put it in my hand, and I'm covering water. So uh, I think that's just the best thing to do right now. You want to do that again? It's really not necessary. I'm not gonna listen, are you? Don't. Oh, that was bad. That ain't my time. Three pounds, two ounces. That solid three pounder out here on the point. Same thing, a little bit of eelgrass, those curly cues mixed in, you can get a bite. Just got to cover a lot of water and not mess up the opportunities you get. It's a crazy lake, man. There's another one. Oh, he's barely hooked. One pound. <laughs> not going to re that one. Well, two and two casts right here. Michael Neal just caught a one pound fish. He took over second place with 19 pounds and four ounces. I think at this point, everybody fishing in behind somebody is. Michael's got something figured out. Oh, shaky, shaky. Thought I was fishing get him a while ago. False alarm. Got 20 minutes left, period two. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, just give me a. Seven, eight pounder just to catch up. There's one, big one. Oh my gosh, stay on there, honey. Stay on there. Don't come off. Don't, don't come off. Come on, please. Got him. Yeah. Four pounds, six ounces. Four, six. Jared Litton just caught a four pound, six ounce fish. He's now 28 pounds, eight ounces. He's showing out now. Or if he's still over there in my hole. Freaking smashed it. God, oh, no, are you serious? It's not that big. Fire hook. Four pounds, one ounce. Thank you. Wow, this guy's really good. Uncle Hero just caught a four pound, one ounce fish. He went to 22 pounds and 14 ounces, second place. Good for top. Poor guy, ain't never caught anything. And not on the dock, not on the dock. Glad I came back here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> uh. Uh. Got him. Yes. Mm. Three pounds, eight ounces. There it is. Another nice one, man. Another nice one. 
Jared Littner just went to 32 pounds and zero ounces. Whoa. I still got an eight pound behind him? Yes, sir. He just caught a three, three eight. Dang. Well, I don't like what my boat official is telling me, but it is what it is. Lintner's on fire. Lintner's got it figured out to the T. It'll be hard to catch him. One pound, two ounces. Thank you. Mm. Feeding time. Come on. One more. You're only six pounds and 14 ounces back now, Tuck. Now I need a seven pound of five, four, three, two, one. Lines out, that's the end of period two. Man. Well, it's real simple. We have got to figure something really good out in the third period. So I gotta figure something else out for the third period. Probably out of first place. But I'll still finish the top two or three, I think, if I catch some. That's the key, though. Gotta catch them. I'm not gonna just try to finish third or fourth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the win, because it's not, if you find them, you can catch them. So we're gonna go try that. And then if we haven't caught anything and it gets no time at all, then we'll back up, but we're going for it. Man, I thought I was to catch, it, catch enough to catch up uh, Jude, but he keep catching fish too, so I only got one more period of that, but uh, you never know. So, Jared, you remain in the lead, 32 pounds, zero ounces. Second, Takahiro Mori is at 25 pounds, two ounces. Definitely not enough. I guarantee you, he's cranking. Guarantee it. My Outdoor TV is your home for every exciting moment of the 2022 MLF season. Boom! Every episode, including live <laughs> events. Yes, sir! Try it free at MyOutdoorTV.com. Use promo code YT30. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Squincher, hydration that works. Six Sour, never settle. Kissimmee, Florida, experience vacation nirvana. And by Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. Going in the third period, I mean, it's a pretty big gap. Lintner's pulling ahead, but I mean, still any of us can catch him. That's what we got to have this last period. We got to have a couple of big ones to make up some ground. There are big ones in here. I mean, I know there's, there, everybody's caught three and four pounders. Ten. So there's probably some nine, six eight, and sevens in here. Seven, six. Just got to catch them. Five. While they line up for period three, let's take a look at the score tracker. Jared Lentner and Takahiro Omori have been dropping bombs on the score tracker. In the closing minutes of period two, they weighed in multiple three and four pound bass, putting some valuable distance between themselves and the rest of the field. The pressure is mounting to become Patriot Cup champion. Let's go out to Marty Stone, who's with Takahiro for today's Yeti Cooler Talk. You got comfortable with this place pretty quick. You've got dialed in. It looks like you're getting some pretty good bites out there. Yes, I had a two over four pound, the way I like to fish. I noticed early you caught quite a few fish on a vibrating jig. And then a little bit later in this period, you started catching fish on a crankbait. Talk about why you made the bait switch and what's going on. So I had like a three or four oh, fish yeah. miss my vibrating jig. I said, that's it. You know, I got to put the trailer hook. That's why I went to the square wheel crankbait. Do you think the square bill will actually catch fish behind people or possibly re-catch some fish that's already been caught? I don't know, because uh, we don't know this place really good. They might start fishing and move up to feeding. So we're going to find out, Marty. What's going to be the key for you to go out in this third period? What are you focusing on? Is it the points? Is it the pockets? Or is it just fish whatever gets in front of you? Well, both. <laughs> you know, I try to not make any mistake, just you know, fish everything from me. 
Takahiro Mori, possibly one of the hottest anglers we've got fishing the cups now, looking to win his second championship. You want this fish cookie for luck? You ate it for good luck. All right, I'm going to eat both it. both of us. Put that on a hook. Mm. Hope the fish have a sweet tooth. Might work. Yep, we're going to hit this real quick. Is he going 5.5? <laughs> That's all he's doing, letting her just cover in water, you know? It's good strategy. Sometimes there is no pattern, you know? You just fish. Look, Littner already caught one. Oh, he jumped it off. He's got some, some bait figured out or something. That's not the way I wanted to start the third and final period. Three pounds, 15 ounces. Really? About a little bigger. When you catch one pounders all day, that's a nice fish. John Murray just caught a fish. Three pounds, 15 ounces. Oh my God. Does that put us in last, I guess, huh? Yes, sir. Well, that feels good. It's nice when you set the hook and something pulls back. Well, we definitely got the wind going on in them. Just got the kites ready. We're ready. Oh, one bite it, bit it. It's always like when I'm like pulling away, isn't it? I got this there hog tied. How about that? One pound, two ounces. All right. Pound at a time. Had a bite. Come off. I can't win. Your last bass brings your total to 19 pounds and 14 ounces. Moves you back into third place. A straight up bed right there. Giant. Oh, God. Big one. Dang, he's got a big one. Like that other one I lost. Thought it was bigger when he jumped, but. Three pounds, one ounce. Stupid Carolina rig, hmm? Good fish. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my gosh. There's your six pounder you was talking about. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that thing. You called it, Mark. You said 6'3. He's over six. Look at that right there, boys. Look at that right there. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my God. I don't even know how, that's gotta be an eight. That's gotta be eight. Eight pounds, <laughs> nine ounces. Yeah! Eight, nine on a shaking head. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Jesse Wiggins has now moved into third place. His weight is 20 pounds and five ounces. His last fish was eight pounds and nine ounces. Hey. Somebody finally caught a big one. That's what we need. Eight pounder coming right up. Whew. We can catch up catching them at size. I think that's him right there, actually. Probably caught it punching those hyacinths that I went right by earlier and thought about it. That's a score. One pound, seven ounces. Gotta get my flipping stick out. I gotta flip some of that hyacinth. Vintner catch any of this period? Not yet. Oh, man. That puts you at 21 12, and you're in third place. 10 pounds, four ounces out of the lead. So you're saying two bites. Oh, bigger. Fight. Yeah, this is the guy that I missed it. Oh, yeah. This is the guy that gave me a knock of stress. Slack guy. Oh, this, is, this is a guy. One pound, 14 ounces. Take it. Yeah, yeah that's the guy. I need a four pounder now. Could have happened. 
Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the USAA Insurance Patriot Cup, presented by Berkeley from Kissimmee, Florida. Look at that right there, boys. Look at that right there. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my God. Jesse Wiggins just caught an eight pound, nine ounce bass. Holy smokes. Eight pounds, nine ounces. That's the one you want. Hey, nine on a shaking head. Look at that. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh my gosh. With that gargantuan eight pound, nine ounce Berkeley Big Bass of the day, Jesse Wiggins has catapulted himself into third place. Wiggins and the anglers below him have a lot of ground to make up to catch first place Jared Lintner. But with mammoth eight pounders lurking below the surface, there's still hope for anyone. Lintner ain't caught in them all? Nope, not as of yet. All right, let me just recheck here. He'd be a nervous wreck. Well, I know I ain't gonna win with what I got. So, gotta catch some fish, settle down. Yeah, as many as I'm catching, Jared, the steer ahead of me. <laughs> One pound, eight ounces. One eight, okay. Jared Lintner's caught another fish. He's now 33 pounds, eight ounces, remains in first place. Probably ought to be punching these hyacinths. Two pounds, three ounces. All right. Terry just caught a two pound, three ounce fish. He's now at 22 pounds and one ounce. Put you in fourth place. Dang it, Terry. You're five ounces behind him. What place am I in now? Third place. Well, that's better than four. I thought I'd catch one. Really did. I don't know why they're not on the ends of these docks anymore. Wow, this is a spot I should catch a big one. And the eagles are hanging out. We ought to be catch a big one here. Got one eight pounder. Put your way back up in there. Come on, little buddies. I know you live by the dam. You got a little too much of it that time, didn't you, boy? One pound, six ounces. It's not the right size. Don't throw one out. If I got bit, it would be a bigger one. Doesn't seem to be the case. Michael Neal's caught a one pound, six ounce fish. He's now at 21 pounds and 14 ounces. Dropped you to fifth place. He's two ounces ahead of you. Gotta keep catching. One pound, 11 ounces. Still not big enough. Need some three and four pounders. You have a five pound, five ounce advantage over Takahiro Mori. I gotta catch like four more fish. I gotta take my chance at this press down. So I still got time. I can't win it up here where these guys have been. I marked some fish here this morning, but I don't see them now. Let's go with the wind. Don't think too much about it. Good enough. Big headed, how about that? One pound, 12 ounces. One twelve. Skinny. That's the first skinny one I've caught today. Oh, pretty healthy. Pound seven ounces. That one bloodied me up. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the USAA Insurance Patriot Cup, presented by Berkeley from Kissimmee, Florida. How's that race for first doing? 
Still the same. Can't believe I can't catch another decent one on this. Why they quit? Cannot believe I get nothing. I mean, it's just like flipping a switch, and it all died. Less than one hour remains in today's championship round. Takahiro is struggling to gain ground on Jared Lintner. Below Tak, Terry Scroggins and Michael Neal have been surging ahead. Should any of these anglers find a group of bass, they could close the gap fast with just a few casts. Only one of these anglers will finish at the top and become the Patriot Cup champion. Oh, man. Time. Time is the money. It's just too random for me, man. Not liking this. Yeah, I'm going to go back to where that group was where I lost that big and see if they've put, pushed back up on that hard spot. Oh, nice one. Uh, it's not a four pounder, but it's a nice one. Don't do crazy. Three pounds, two ounces. Thank you. <laughs> it was the... That was right there. Talking hero Mori has just landed two more bass on the score tracker, his last <laughs> bass being three pounds, two ounces. He has 32 pounds, five ounces. He has one pound, three ounces behind Jared Lindner in the lead oh, with no. 33 pounds, eight ounces. Oh, no. How much? One pound and three oh. ounces. Oh, come on, Jared. Get him, buddy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. So you're now one pound and three ounces behind Jared Lent. Could have happened if I catch two pounds. Oh, I missed two pounder. You got 13 minutes left. 13 minutes. Lucky 13. That one didn't miss it. One pound, 15 ounces. Almost a two pounder. You gotta keep catching fish, man. This has been my worst period, and that's what happens. This whole day has just been random. Random bites all day. You think Lintner's nervous? <laughs> yeah, that's Taki Hero. Got it. Big one. That's it. Come out. Yeah, come out. Come out. Come out. Yep. Could be it. They choked it. Choked it. This could be it. Three pounds, six ounces. Yes. Yes. How's that first place race doing? Taka Euro. 35 pounds, 11 ounces. No! Yeah. You're kidding! No, I'm not kidding. Whoa! Yep. How, how far over Littner? Uh, two pounds, three ounces. Whoa! Unbelievable, man. Three, two, one, lines out, yes. end of the round. Yes! Didn't get it done, man. Didn't get it done. I don't have a positive ending to this. <laughs> I can't give you one if there isn't one. Let me tell you something for all you young guys out there. Put this sport in perspective. You're going to finish dead last. You're going to finish first. You're going to finish everywhere in between. Don't let it get you down. Learn from it and uh, stay positive as best you can. Well, you can't win them all for sure. It was a good day. Third. All in all, fifth place ain't bad, but it's not what you want. So uh, pack it up and go to the next one. I had eight, nine, son. That made my day. I hate that I couldn't get closer to the lead, but I just couldn't figure out how to catch enough fish. I don't know. Them guys freaking whacked them. I don't know. They just, they figured it out, and I didn't. <laughs> so one point five did it for me. Oh, my gosh. It's my most trusted bait right now, 1.5. Man, it was a pretty good day right up until the last 45 minutes, you know, and 
I've watched enough Major League Fishing Cups and Bass Pro Tours, I've been involved with them, that I know that a guy always comes back, or, you know, comes back in the end. Okay, Mr. Amori, congratulations. You're the Patriot Cup Let's champion for 2021. <laughs> Sounds awesome. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by General Tire. Anywhere is possible. Mossy Oak. Hunt. Fish. Repeat. Abu Garcia. Fish to win. Optima Batteries. The ultimate power source. And by Barbasol Shaving Cream and Razors. A close, comfortable shave for the past 100 years. Look at this. The championship round of the USAA Insurance Patriot Cup is in the books. 27 of the top pros in professional bass fishing came to Kissimmee, Florida to compete for the USAA Insurance Patriot Cup trophy. That's what we came to see right there. Eight anglers survived the grueling elimination and sudden death rounds to earn their chance to become a champion. Yeah! In today's championship round on Lake Bella Lago, our pros found the bass early and often. Big one. Oh my gosh, big one. The story of period one was all about Jared Lintner, who was first on the score tracker, then ended the period with a pair of three pounders and an early lead. That is, that was a nice fish. In period two, Takahiro Omori and Michael Neal kept swapping in and out of second place, but they were unable to reach Lintner, who continued to hammer the scales. Lintner ended the period with a nearly seven pound advantage over Tak. Got him. In period three, for the first time all day, Jared Lintner struggled to find a bite. Takahiro capitalized on the opportunity and weighed in seven and a half pounds of bass in the final 30 minutes. He dethroned the milkman and earned himself the title of Patriot Cup champion. Yes, yes. Let's go to Bass Pro Shop's end of the line and see how Takahiro pulled out the win. This is Takahiro Mori. This is how I won my championship round. This is 1.5 crankbait and a shad cover. This is a vibrating jig with swim bait trailer. God. So I was messing with the ball docks and I fish around the bank to the point, to the pockets. Fat guy. Just about three to five feet. Oh my gosh. This is how I won championship round. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. It's my most trusted bait right now. Here are the final results for the championship round. Lake Bella Lago proved to be an excellent fishery for today's match. With his outstanding performance, Takahiro Omori has now earned the title of Patriot Cup champion, his second Major League Fishing Cup title. Come out. Yeah, come out. Today's Barbasol close shave also goes to Tak, who strung together multiple bites in the final minutes of competition to finally overcome Jared Lintner, who'd been leading all day. Three pounds, six ounces. Yes. Yes. The Berkeley Big Bass of the day goes to Jesse Wiggins, who wrestled He's in this eight it. pound, nine ounce Florida mammoth. Look at that right there, boys. Look at that right there. Oh my gosh. Eight pounds, <laughs> nine ounces. Hey, <laughs> nine on a shaking head. Look at that. <laughs> Let's send it over to Marty Stone, who's with the two time MLF Cup champion. Takahiro. Last season, we were at Lake at Ozarks. You win your first cup ever. There's a square bill crankbait involved. Today, I watched you catch some key fish early on a vibrating jig, but then you made a key adjustment that you talked about at the break, and another square bill crankbait and another cup win for you. Yeah, I understand how to fish square bill crankbait for sure. I love shadow cranking. And I think condition was perfect oh, for me. Man. 301, you catch a 32. 318, you catch a 36. That was clutch. Explain those last two fish for me. You know, I come and wear the, the you know, back in the creek, and the wind blow in, getting the best stuff, closer, closer, you know. And I said, if this had happened not here, I was down. But yes. it, it was works for me. Yes. It means a lot to you to be able to top of the game with no information, no practice, it's pure instinct. Now, two fall events in a row, each on a different season, 
you've won a cup. What does it mean in this stage of your career to be a two-time cup winner? Well, that'd be awesome. You know, it took me seven years to get understand this format. I mean, seven years. I'm admit I wasn't that good at the beginning. Yes. Takahiro Wari might not have started out strong in these cup events, but he's getting better and better with each year. And he's now your Patriot Cup champion. This concludes the USAA Insurance Patriot Cup Championship presented by Berkeley from Kissimmee, Florida. Look at that. Look for us and our next exciting MLF events. And thanks for watching General Tire's Major League Fishing.